Are you Mr. Adams? Yes, I am. A question for you. Yes. You're running for EC, right? Yes. Um, can you guarantee me that if a victimless crime comes before you guys as part of your pardons process, that you will vote to pardon, or something along those lines? Well, I'm not. I don't really want to be uh, answering speculative questions, but everything you got to study the entire. What What is it? You know, what's What's the entire case? What yeah. did he Did he get due process? Was there, I remember the, the, the case of the fellow waving the gun. I was very uh, Was he really waving it? Well, the, well, the, thing, <laughs> the, the thing that, this is what they yeah. said. The thing that really disappointed me about that was the fact that it would seem that the folks wanted one thing and one thing only, and that was for him never to be able to carry a weapon again. And I felt that that was the way this happened. They used a witness that was incredible. Once again, due process. And I felt that he did not get due process. And I would have liked to have seen, hey, this fellow's record needs to be exposed. Because it wasn't, in my opinion, my humble opinion, and I'm not a judge and I'm not an attorney, but it was not fair. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much for your time and your transparency. I appreciate it. Not everyone reacts the same to having a camera up here. All right. Take care. You know, the thing is, is that somebody told me once years ago, and I said, it comes from here. Yeah. Right. If it does, then it's easy to say. Exactly. Because you know, now this is a factoid. I'm a history buff. I, I've loved it all my life. In 1918, General John Pershing was in charge of all American forces. Don't I know it? And one, yeah. one of the reporters, I think it was a reporter from Paris, said, he said, you are amazing. He said, you never, ever mix up your facts. He said, because I tell the truth. And the fellow looked at him, he said, the lies are too damn hard to remember. Yeah. He did too. He did all right, considering what an awful war that was. Oh, it was hard. Yeah. Hard. One of my uncles got ago, killed. A hundred years ago. <laughs> yeah. Not this year. Yeah. And it was to end all, and it was just the beginning of the worst one we had ever seen up in yeah, World the, War II. Pershing got the Americans out with 100,000 dead. They, he could have done a lot worse. All Thank right, you. take care. <clears throat> so a couple of kind of annoying things happened to me as I was uh, doing my work out here. But interestingly enough, none of them came from the authoritarians. Hey. Uh, uh, oh, hey, again. <laughs> take care. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, what happened was I had, uh, I guess, two different liberty activists uh, ask me not to film them. You know, and <laughs> if you're standing at the polls, uh, it, it, it would seem, you know, if you're, if you're waving a sign, then you're asking to be photographed. So this is one of the problems with, you know, um, I get too close to people sometimes, and so I can't say no to that request that I should probably be saying no to. I should probably just be take, taking the picture, but this is the advantage of getting more and more distance from more and more people in the movement. You know, what I told them in this case was, all right, you get one freebie, but next time, <laughs> next time I'm gonna have to say no. <clears throat> Keene, New Hampshire the capital of libertarian civil disobedience. The folks over at freaking.com believe this is the place you should be if you believe in peaceful non-cooperation. Freaking.com invites you to the beautiful hills of western New Hampshire and invites you to join their peaceful evolution. Freaking.com